I don't want what you're selling. What's up, Stu? We've already got Jesus. Go away. Excuse me, sir. Have you... Excuse me, sir. Do you have a moment to speak about... Excuse me, sir. Do you have a moment to speak about our Lord and Savior, LS3? We've already got one. <laughs> it's very nice. Open the door. Come on. What's going on, Stu? Uh, our Airbnb here in Atlanta has no air conditioning, but it's so nice out in Atlanta compared to the groggy humidity the, the, that is the, Florida. The uh, the swamplands of Florida. So I talked to my dad this morning. You know what the heat index is this morning? What's that? One ten. One ten. One ten. In Florida, seventy nine percent humidity. I want to move here, to Georgia. If it wasn't for like some of the stupid laws they have here, like the vehicle registration fees, Georgia now. Right? It's nice, nice weather, dude. Compared is, to Florida, I mean, some of, the, some, some of the Georgians I've been talking to, like, oh, uh, it's okay, dude. Step foot in Miami, you will want to come back to Georgia. It's so nice here. Do you know what the temperature is today? Seventy nine, eighty. It is 83 degrees out. 83 degrees. But it is 39% humidity. That's the thing. It's just very low humidity compared and to Florida. The, what were you thinking of doing today? I think we should probably get lunch. I'm kind of hungry. Probably go to the Linux Square Mall, Bojangles or something. I don't know. We're going to get some lunch. My dad, who's up in Atlanta probably about six or seven times a year for work, he recommended us a couple places to eat. And one of the places that he recommended was the Iron Horse Tavern in Old Norcross. He said it's really good pub fare. Ice cold beer, Hell good yeah. food. Hell yeah, brother. And uh, so we will catch up with you guys at the Iron Horse Tavern. Really? Because I, I assume they just get ruined after. Yeah, These are, this is a cool nasty. menu. This is pretty yeah. damn cool. Wow. Stuart. Wow. <laughs> no, this is really creative. It really yeah. is. This is super As I, At first I thought she was giving us a newspaper. I really did. Oh my goodness, Stuart. Yes. That was amazing. That was good food. So stuffed. My dad recommended Iron Horse Tavern. Did he, uh, did he know? How was your burger? Amazing. I had the... You pimento, had the meatloaf burger, which meatloaf was made burger. with Italian sausage with pimento cheese on it. Oh, it was so it. good. It looked good. I had fish and chips. I was glad because they had malt vinegar. We did not need the, green, the fried green beans. We didn't need those. The fried green beans, as much as we didn't need them, were so fucking good. They were so good. All the right. beer was cold. The beer was cold. Ice cold. All right, so on to uh, next... Uh, Next activity, let's figure out what's going on. Jesus. Look at that, Dodge Viper ACR. Apartment store's over there and All right. over there. So where, where are we now? We're in the Old Fourth Ward, aren't we? Yeah, the Old Fourth Ward, South Side Atlanta. Yeah, there's a lot of, you know, actually I think this is where I met Ludacris that one time that I came to Atlanta four years ago. Did you know? Over at a department store. There's another really cool bar down there called Church. And uh, I want to go visit Joystick, so let's go down there and check it out. Cool. Let's go. Joystick right now. Yeah, this place is cool, and uh, you know I, I love all the all the art and music and culture and stuff that's here in Atlanta. You know, there's so much of it. And you know what I also love is the roads, man. The roads here, are, for the most part, are, are pretty clear, pretty uh, smooth, nice. pretty smooth, nice. And see, generally, it's cheaper to build a, a road to follow the terrain, right? So, in in Florida, all the roads are basically straight lines because the terrain is flat. So they just build straight lines. Whereas here, uh, there's a lot of mountainous areas. The roads curve and follow and move all over the place. And it's a lot more fun to drive because you're engaged. You're not just mindlessly driving in a straight line. So right now we're going to a bar called uh, Church of the Living Room. So let's head over that way. Stuart, dude, this place is awesome. Holy crap. Hey man, let's get a beer. So Steve just wants to chill outside, but it's my understanding that there's a ping pong tournament going on upstairs. So I'm going upstairs to take a look at this.
All right, boys. We got here some Wendy's. Closing out the night here. Uh, we have uh, five dollar biggie bags with some amazing barbecue nuggets right there. He's got some ranch nuggets. So uh, we're gonna close out here. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out finishlinefactory.com for fittings, hoses, and all kinds of cool stuff. And I'll catch you guys later. See ya. Bye. Damn it. I forgot to tell them no pickle. Ha! Like, I don't I don't mind the taste of pickles. I just don't like the texture. You know? Like when you're biting through a burger. That part. And you bite bite through like the, the texture part and you're chewing it. And then you get pickle. to a hard pickle. Yeah. Like, I don't like it. Like Chick-fil-A, like the pickle. Well, like because it. the chicken's crunchy. Right, right. But I still remove the pickle. Because I still I don't like the, the transition and texture. But I like the taste. That so I, I like the, I like the pickle juice. By the time you get it, the pickle juice is already soaked into the bread. Mm -hmm. And then you're getting the pickle taste without the pickle texture. That part.